hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the mark effects to the tires for that go ahead and download these two uh, files okay and drag and drop them inside the prefabs folder so this one is just a simple material but but its rendering mode is set to fade okay and if you are using the built-in pipeline then you will have this option if you are using a urp or hdrp then i think you might not well have this option okay so make sure that you use the built-in uh, render pipeline okay and in this material we just simply set its color to black and set the alpha value to 60 okay that's it and then we have this mark effect okay in which we use the trail renderer and in this we right here need to provide this mark material in there okay as you can see this is the mark material okay so make sure that you drag and drop it in here and then in here you can uh, uh, set the minimum water distance to your own liking but i will leave this as 0 0.1 okay so once you have these two then what i want you to do is to add them to your rear wheels or back wheels of the car so if you open up the wheels effect this is the back left so in here just simply drag and drop this mark effect okay and we need to s click on the react transform and select uh, reset okay so now as you can see there it is we need to do the same in the back wheel right as well okay just simply drag and drop it and then reset the transform of it okay so now as you can see there it is okay but as you can see it is in the air so we don't want that what we will be doing is we need to move this to the ground okay so i will move this right here it is zooming a lot okay so as you can see it is right here on the ground you can move it backwards to check it out as you can see we can now see it right here on the ground okay and you can do the same with this one as well just simply move it right here and then move it right here as you can see we can see the effect right there so move it back again and also if you want this to be a little bit more black okay you can increase the alpha value and then as you can see it is even more darker Okay, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this as 60. Okay, so once you have added the mark effect, then go ahead and open up the car controller. And now right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say public trail renderer. Let's make this an array and let's name this as trail renderer renderers actually but the t right here should be small then after this if we scroll down right after this method we're gonna create another one by the name of enable trail effect this is going to take a bool as a parameter which will be by the name of enable okay and in here we're going to do the same as we did for our smoke effects so we're going to say for each let's create a trail renderer by the same name trail renderer in trail renderers okay and then we're going to set the trail uh, renderer dot emitting to the enable so if we pass true to this then it will enable the effect and if we pass false to it it will disable it okay 
then if we scroll up in the update I mean in the calculate car movement right here when we apply brakes and play the smoke effect as you can see so now before uh, playing the smoke effect we gonna enable the trail effects okay so we're gonna say trail effects let's pass through to it when we are braking and when we are not braking then right here we're gonna pass false to it okay that is it now if we save the script and get back right here to unity so as you can see it requires the trail renderer so what we're gonna do we're gonna lock this and then select both of the mark effects drag and drop it in here unlock it and we are good to go so now if we play the game okay let's move if we press break as you can see there are the marks and they just simply disable after some time okay we press the brakes as you can see there is the mark effects you can actually move the mark effects a little bit inside because if you notice they are on the outside okay so we can move it a little bit inside so that it is close to the tires okay so in here if we select this one you can move it right here and select the other one move it right here Okay. and also if you want to increase the width of it then just simply increase it from here and also the time as well okay how many time it will take to fade away now let's test it out again now as you can see they are a little bit more inside so you can set up your own mark effect now and with this done let's end this video right here